Hi everyone, Jed Cook here with Morgan Industrial Technology and today we're going to be looking at the Magnatech D-Head. Whenever we have conversations with contractors and fabricators, there's a common theme that we hear and that is they just cannot find enough good welders and that can lead to issues with weld quality, lead times and the Magnatech D-Head, it's not a miracle worker, but it can help with two things. For one, it can make the good welders you already have, it can make them more productive and it can give a motivated operator who may not be your best welder, it can give him the ability to make x-ray quality welds over and over. Moving into automation can be a little intimidating for some companies, but a key thing to remember is that orbital welding really isn't that different from hand welding. It's just a mechanized process. So wire speed, amperage, those type of things are still the same concept, but it's just a machine doing the work. Let's dive into the D-head. The D-head can do a fusion weld. It can also do a filler weld and it can cover a wide range of pipe sizes from one inch all the way up to 14 inch. And it's a really very versatile head, so if you have a unique application, reach out to us and we'll see if it might fit your situation. One of the main features of the Magnatech D-Head is its low profile, which should be especially helpful when working in tight areas where it's hard to get a, a hand welder in there. For example, U-bends. So the radial clearance required is two inches on tuber pipe sizes with one and three quarter inch OD and above. On tuber pipe sizes smaller than that, the radial clearance required increases with decreasing tuber pipe size. The axial clearance required is 8.51 inches from torch center line to the back of the machine and 0.41 inches from torch center line to the front of the machine. When it comes to orbital welding, prep is key and I can't emphasize this enough. If the prep itself is good, the welding will be pretty easy. As you can see in the picture, the bevel goes down into a flat area. It's called the land extension. That allows you to get a great root pass. You also look at it and it goes up into a very steep angle rather quickly. That allows you to use less filler material, which saves time and resources. As mentioned before, the Magnatech D-head is commonly used on U-bends, such as this one right here. Typically, U-bends come from the factory with a standard 37 and a half degree bevel. This can be overcome by putting a J-prep on at least one side of the joint. So you could leave the fitting side with a 37 and a half degree bevel and on the pipe side, put a J-prep by using a ESCO mill hog tool. Now that we've got a good prep, let's go ahead and hook up the power supply to the weld head. All the cables on the back are male, female, or different, which helps ensure proper hookup. The D-head comes standard with a 25 foot cable and additional extension cables can be added if further reach is needed. Now that we have everything hooked up, let's take a look at the weld head itself. The D-head runs on a guide ring and these guide rings are size specific to the tube or pipe you're working on. On these guide rings, you can see there are six divots. These break the weld up into six sections. The reason Magnatech breaks the weld into six sections is because just like with hand welding, as you're welding around that piece of tuber pipe, that tuber pipe is going to heat up. So you may need a different set of parameters from three to six, six to 12, and so on and so forth. So Magnatech breaks it up into six sections and this guide ring is going to fit on the inside of the D-head like this. And there's a home switch here. And every time that home switch hits one of these divots, it's going to send a signal back to the power supply to let it know to move on to that next set of parameters. Now we're going to set the D head up on a piece of pipe. So the guide rings, they break in half. You'll go ahead and mount it on the piece of tuber pipe. And a lot of welders, they'll create some kind of jig and they, that way they can get this lined up quickly to the joints. So they're perfectly centered. This clamps like that. And then you want to keep the top the same. So or you want to start the weld at the same position each time. So this is the top and it's got a hex screw in there. So we'll bring it around to the top and we'll tighten it up. Once it's snug, you'll go ahead and mount the D head on there. And as you're putting the D head on the guide ring, you can feel it slip into the track and you'll bring the chain and link over. Then you'll tighten it up and we're ready to go. Programming can be a challenge for orbital welders, especially when they first start because there's so many parameters to consider. Fortunately, Magnatech has auto programming. And while this isn't going to give you a perfect weld, it's going to give you a great starting point, which can save time, especially for beginners during weld development. As just about any welder knows, we don't live in a perfect world. So there are many times when you'll create a program and you may have to make some changes along the way. With a Magnatech 515 and this remote pendant, the operator can watch the weld puddle and make on the fly adjustments. For example, they can change the amperage up or down, they can change the travel speed, wire speed, and many others. So today we're gonna to do some welding on some two inch Schedule 40 piping. Now when using the auto program feature, all you need to know is the tuber pipe OD, 
the wall thickness, what material you're working on, the weld head, and the guide ring factor. So we got two inch schedule 40 carbon seal. Let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have the weld program created, there are a couple things you wanna to do to get your weld head situated. First, typically we started out in the two or three o'clock position. This is a little bit of a matter of personal preference, but you do wanna start at the same place each time. There's also several adjustments you can make where you can change the wire angle, how far the wire is from the tungsten, and you wanna get all that situated if possible before you start welding. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this centered on the joint. Just like that, and we're ready to weld. As we start the weld, there will be a short pre-purge. This can be adjusted per the application. The D-head will then strike an arc and stay in the same position for a second or so. This is called the travel start delay and helps create a good puddle before advancing. The D-head is equipped with arc gap control and you may be able to tell as it goes around that it will automatically adjust up and down. Another thing to keep in mind as the D-head rotates around the pipe is cable management. This means making sure the cable is not getting tangled or stuck as you make the weld. As the weld head comes around to the home position, it will automatically move into the second pass of the program and start oscillating. At the end of the weld, it will downslope and post purge for several seconds. So that's a quick overview on welding with the Magnatech D-head. Here we've got a finished weld, typically on a piece of Schedule 40 carbon steel like this, it would be a root pass, fill pass, and then the cap pass. You can see on the weld, just very consistent weld all the way around, which is what you see with welding automation. As we mentioned before, the D-head is a TIG welder, so any kind of TIGable alloy, you're gonna be able to weld with the D-head. So carbon steel, stainless, ink canal, and many others. Thanks for joining us today for this overview of the Magnatech D-Head. The D-Head is a very versatile tool and can be used in many different industries and applications. Bring yours to us and we'll see if it might be a fit.